ship, if someone needs a response from me, do I have to click through all of my channels in order to find messages waiting for me? You could, that would take a really long time. So there's some easier ways to do it. One is uh, people can notify each other when they're waiting on a response. So let's mm. say that we're in our digital assets web channel again, and you had posted this, hi everyone, I'm new to the team, where should I get started? We didn't tag anybody in that post. If we had tagged somebody, they would be notified that you were waiting for a response from them. So we can do it in the reply. And the way you tag somebody is you type the at symbol and then start typing their name. So if I want to tag Adele, I can start typing Adele. You can see it finishes the name for me. I can click on that. Or if I want to tag Megan, I can tag Megan. Now what's going to happen is when I send this reply, they're both tagged. You can see they're highlighted in blue so that we know that that's a tag. What Megan's going to see on her side looks like this. So this is Megan's Microsoft Teams, and you can see she's got a lot of Teams and a lot of notifications. Each of these Teams that's bold-faced means that there is something inside that channel that's part of that conversation that she's not read yet. If it has a number in a red circle, that's how many times she's been tagged uh, for people waiting on a response. So she's been tagged quite a lot. She's the manager of this division. That kind of makes sense. Got it. I can also look at my activity feed up here in the top, and this shows everything that's happened that she needs to be notified about. And we can see right at the top is where Ben mentioned you. If we click on one, it'll show it over here on the right. We already had Ben's open, but if we click on another one, you can see it takes us to that team and channel so we can see where that conversation is. Now you can control your notifications uh, somewhat. We talk about that more in the Mastering Teams course as well. One other thing you can do is if you're not sure which person to notify, you can also tag the entire team. So here we're in a team called Mark 8 Project Team. If I type at and start typing Mark, you can see the entire team is an option there as well. And now everybody in that team is going to get a notification. Be careful with that. You don't want to annoy people with too much spam that way. Mm -hmm. In fact, we'll cancel out of that. So everything I post in a team can be viewed by everybody else in the team? As a general rule, yes. So that's important to keep in mind. Teams is where all your public conversations happen. But you can also use Teams for private one-on-one -on -one chats. You can also use it for online meetings and calls. Let's look at all of that in our next lesson. All right?